as we went into Christmas break. Oh god. Hi, my name is Vitamin D Stain. Welcome back to some King Koi. Last night, because I recorded the last episode a day before in my time, which was the 15th for me right now. The 14th of that night, I was very sad because, as you guys know, I got the ending spoiled. Well, I still don't know if it's true or not, so I'm about to find out in this episode. This may be the last episode, and if you're watching right now, I mean, you got the title, so I'm sure you could figure it out. Um, yeah, so I was thinking about that, and I was sad. I really hope that it was some kind of joke. I really hope so. <laughs> Wow, she's too nice. The dorm was unusually active today. A number of boarders participated in a dorm-wide cleaning initiative before they returned to their homes, and not one of them complained. Yeah, a real rock and a hard place. The practice place conundrum they hadn't tidied up yet, but that actually just made it worse. Now that it's come to this, our only real choice is to rely on you know what. I was thinking of putting the royal family's cheap powers to use. I don't mean Sylvie. Mm. Long time no see, Mina-chan. It has been a while. Where has she been? Oh, <笑>あ、うん。まあ、気持ちはわかるよ。いいよ、慣れてるから。ただ、さ。別に俺を気持ち悪がるなとは言わないけど、位置を避けるのはやめてくれないか。俺が位置の重荷になってるってのは微妙だ。何より<笑> Then why haven't you come to this room? Especially when she used to come on a daily basis. That's right, I hadn't even noticed that. What the heck? But? You're so cute, real. <clears throat> oh no. Yeah, I better leave. <laughs> that poor thing. I mean, I'm seriously sorry. Well, <laughs> She must have recalled what she had felt that day and was being a bit mindful of the middle finger on her right hand. To touch a portion of a person's skull that was completely missing? Of course that would feel horrendous and that had put her in an awkward position, but... So... <laughs> Thank goodness. Why? And so, as far as finding a place to practice went, I'd considered asking Mina-chan for help and finding someplace nice, but... Yeah. So, if you guys ever see me going like this to my mic, it's because I'm trying to, like, the... align or see how it's positioned. Because it's kind of hard for me to tell if I have it like 
straight and it's not too off to the side. It's probably an OCD thing. I don't know, but it drives me kind of crazy if it's not like how exactly how I want it to be. So if I do this a lot, that's why. We had missed what was right under our noses. This place was almost entirely free once winter break kicked in the gear. I completely forgot about this too. It was only used by the music club. Even on days they had practiced it, it was limited to either the mornings or evenings, so it would absolutely be free at one of those times. Ria took a look around the hall. Something up? Ah, yeah. This is another place from our memories. Wasn't it a church, if I remember right? あえて言うと、マリアビショップとピアニスト plinked randomly at the key of a piano placed there。シルビー、当時はピアノやってなかったのかな。猫踏んじゃったくらいしか弾けなかったんだけど。The flea waltz. お姉様がピアノを始めたのは日本よに戻った後からですわ。その猫踏んじゃったもダメだったんだよ。オルガンがもうぶっ壊れててさ、変な音しか出なくて。でも一はそれがわかんねえから、シルビーのことを下手だ
isn't being broadcast on TV as good as it gets. I heard television was the best way to get your name out there. Oh, I do think I've heard that the sound speakers make vary by company or something like that. レコードはいいけどCDは音が平坦になるからいいやって言っちゃう人。その偏見はさすがに。ですが、やはり音楽は生が一番だと思いますわね。オーケストラの演奏などはCDなどで聞くより、やはりスピーカーのないコンサートホ
あやかはいはい本気で反省しなさいよ立てないとかはーいうん I don't know what to say I got chills 今日はこの辺にしとくそうですわね明日が本番ですのに声が出なくなったら大変 I guess みんな doesn't really know about Maria's or Ria's condition does she? Because she seems so very like worry free Oh man ah. Right, the party is tomorrow so today was the last day you could practice? Everything had gone by so fast when trying to find a place for Ria to practice, and it was quickly coming to a close now that we found a spot. Thank you, Mina chan. Actually, that didn't cause any problems on your end. So, we schedule is always packed. Thanks, Mina. Mina chan left. Looks like you're on friendly terms with her now, too. So, ka? Come on, ah. Sasuga Shirubi no Imotoka. Komuryoku Takewa. True that. The fact Mina chan wasn't reserved around Ria meant she likely recognized her as a friend. Okage de Kochimo. Jishin o Motta Ashtani no Zomera. Maria Bishop Saigo no Tani. Kokai wa Nasa Soda. That so? Ria looked exhausted after her recent practice session. I knew she'd been taking medicine on the down low lately to lower her blood pressure, further emphasizing how unstable she actually was. Should I have said something else? Perhaps I should have told her such reckless behavior needed to stop. I knew how much Ria hated being talked to that way. Did that mean I should give my silent approval? That didn't feel right either. This was over my head. Being the ideal boyfriend was tough. I wonder what a cool boyfriend would do in this situation. That's a good question. <sighs> When we got back, Ria flopped over on the sofa. Today was the fifth day of winter break, and a number of the dorm residents had already returned home, leaving the foyer deserted. Which meant nobody would interfere if she laid down on the sofa. But you're hogging the whole sofa. Move over, Ria.、Uh, uh. She sat down beside me. Ria dragged herself over without getting off her hands and knees and rested her head on my lap. Puff, puff. I pet her head. Good work out there again today.、Uh, Drowsiness was setting in and her eyelids looked heavy. I proceeded to comb my fingers through her golden blonde hair, which once belonged to Sui. Yeah? That was random. I do. You're the one I love most in the world, so I think Maria would come second. Hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Don't worry about it. Maria will, you know, live on in everyone's hearts, and that's more than enough. Just stay with me enough to make up for it, okay?、Mm. Ria closed her eyes. Your room's right over there.、Mm. Oh no, now you gotta stay there. She was put off by even the slightest movement and curled herself up into a ball. Oh boy, she was gonna catch a cold like this. I told you to stay with me. Hi, hi. Mofu m o t e k a s t a Thanks, Raina. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I love Raina so much. I asked Raina for a favor over the phone. It was kind of chilly today. Knowing that, she brought two blankets for us and tucked Ria in from head to toe. While petting her head. Isn't it kind of bright in here? Not exactly the perfect place to sleep, if you asked me. So, I don't know. You can't tell? 
Uh, I don't think that's a good thing. That's crazy depressing. I keep forgetting she can't see. Man. Is it? I figured I could at least block the brightness out and cover her eyes. She must have thought I was brushing her face as she giggled bashfully. Yeah? Where's all this coming from? She, she was talking literally when she said all she was in is in darkness. I thought it was like metaphorical, but no, literally. Oh boy. <laughs> in the moments that followed, Rio was lulled into slumber. I had no idea what she was saying at the end, but it felt nice. Well then. For the several hours until she awoke, I kept patting her head all the while. Now that's a cool boyfriend thing to do. I approve. Oh look, the rooftop. I miss the rooftop. I heard it would be buffet style, so I've been rather curious about it. ちゃんとした古コース的なのだと思ってた。立食ってのは出演者側には超絶不利なんだ。俺が歌ってる間にいいもん全部食われるんだ。許せん。100名以上を招いての席ですので、コース形式では逆に肩残るかと。Just save her a plate. She's just worrying over nothing. Don't worry about it too much. There we go. Thanks, Ella. 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 Ah, so then I. Nani, you did this. Deva. Junbio, Nengaishimas. December 24th, Christmas Eve. Thanks to Sylvie, we were expecting a rather sizable turnout. Christmas Eve, the Kanji de Sione. Her with fires in her heart. Oh my god. Redonkulous collab? Alright. なんか予定あったん。はい。ハリウッド女優が何人か会いたいと言ってきたのですが、すべてキャンセルして。さすが。僕でなく録音事件が目当てですよ。そっちはなんか予定あった？ももちろんあったさ。あったけど会えてこち
待て待て走るなエル配置図はこの通りで問題ないかロークウェルズ、スピンオフェミニー。ええ、兄上、よろしくお願いします。さすがはカバレロさ。フェンシングの腕もさることながら、技師としての職務も完璧にこなせておりますのね。あ、あ、はあ、どうも。うん。もしかして私のこと、誰だか分かってらっしゃらないあ,あ、そ、そんなことは、えっと。あのウエンシンクほらフェンシングのうん先週の練習試合であなたにコテンパンにやられた Everyone was enjoying the party in their own way. There were, of course, likely plenty of people who were drawn in by the tagline Christmas party hosted by Sword Lips. I wonder how you actually pronounce that. There's a little accent looking thing on the E. Anyone know how to pronounce that? <laughs> But it was obvious where their primary objective in attending lay. Oh, look, sister. Chicken nugget. Hmm. Hey. My guest. My guests had arrived. <sighs> I forgot he's a fan of Sylvie. Dorio included. They were a troublesome pair to associate myself with, but they had lent me a hand when I was looking for. Rio, a while back. I couldn't possibly be cruel to them now. I would be seeing them over New Year's too. Talk about a pain in the butt. So, did Oro Kun, Honto Nano? Kono party te. Yeah, it's true. According to the schedule, she should be up first. Look, it's already getting started. Mina Sama, Gokanda no Nakato Moimasuna, go I sat so sasete da kimas. The party began with a few words from Sobi, the host. Her speech ended in a brief fashion, and then. Suzukimashte, Konkai Kono Moyoshi no Tame, Special na Guest on Yokoshi Tadakimashta. Ah. Honmonoda. Making a guest appearance, Maria Bishop. Being a huge music lover, Chieko was deeply touched by Maria Bishop collaborating with Sylvie. A musical performance by a world renowned pianist and the world's diva, Sylvia La Cruz Crown. And Maria Bishop. Maria really was the highlight of the party. It would have been ideal for the performance to be scheduled when the party was at its peak, but it was moved to an earlier time to accommodate Rhea. Uh oh. Oh no! I think I skipped something. Of course. I did not. Okay, great. With the host's introductions out of the way, so we look at, took to the piano, and Maria headed to the front of the stage. The s l e x i c kicks in every now and then, you know? Maria gave Sylvie a quick pop with her elbow, and Sylvie grinned in response. Unless they knew the relationship between them, hardly anyone would have known that the gesture meant. What the gesture meant? I'm nervous. Or possibly. Maybe even I didn't know. It may have been a form of contact only those two understood. Together with a fluent. Companion, a l l companion me. So began the song, that song I had heard countless times before. Why does it look like. Why does it look so dark for? Everybody, da 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 da. For a few brief moments, she captured the hearts of everyone present, myself included. Her voice was at a stable register. How would you know? I didn't think she had made any mistakes. But a musical layman like myself couldn't tell if she had been successful. The thing that told me she had more than succeeded was the flabbergasted face on my sister beside me. This was the power of Maria Bishop. I like how, just barely, he decides to say, Oh, yeah, shit, because my sister, by the way. Which, of course, we already know playing the other roots. But I'm just thinking, if I had played the roots any other way, I still would have found out a lot sooner or a lot later. Yeah, you know what I mean. This was the power of Maria Bishop. And this was Maria Bishop, the diva of the worlds. Final song. So, I'm done with the job. I'm done with the job. I'm done with the job. 
Nah, that's Rio in a nutshell. Although Rio was now free, so we still had work to do post performance. She had gone on about food, but she still seemed to have too much lingering tension to eat and hadn't touched her plate. She had just gotten some water and quenched her thirst a few times. And then. Chiaka, Chiaka Nugget made her way over. You guys know her to some extent, right? そりゃ昔、オール君が一番迷惑かけた子だし。はあ。一の聞けたならよかった。すっごかったよね、マリア。かもな。次また<笑> uh, Should I have told her Maria wasn't going to sing anymore, even if I let her down gently? Or so I wondered when. You gotta let it go, Rhea. Just pack it up. Stop it. Just stop doing that. Stop. She can't. She literally can't. We would love to hear her sing again, but she just can't. <laughs> like, even your yaka's like, what, the, what, the, what do you mean? Off chicken nugget went. She sure had laid a totally unnecessary time bomb, for sure. Fossa oop sucks. Hmm. You didn't make that clear though. It looked like Sobi had taken a quick break and eventually found her way to us. Yes. She noticed. Or maybe she had it and it was just a lucky guess. Either way, Sobi looked worried. Ria's face tensed up momentarily. But her usual grin resurfaced in no time at all. She's, she's such a capper right now, dude. <laughs> so we seem to have accepted that answer. Hmm. Definitely felt like those two were leaving me in the dust whenever they hung out together. And the two women, women to one man ratio played a big part in that. Oh, uh, is there any reason I need to dress up like this too? Yes, ma'am. Ooh, it look good. Whoa. <laughs> she pushed me out into the dead center of the dance hall. This might be the thumbnail. I don't know. It looked cool. It didn't really matter though, since everyone was actively dancing. I, I can't dance to save my life. <laughs> really? Forcing me into this situation out of the blue was a bit too much for me. If swearing my body was enough, then I suppose I could wing it. Um, like this? <laughs> I am? That's funny. Totally unreliable. 
Then again, save for the people from the ballroom dancing club, most of the people dancing around us were winging it too. It ought to be fine if we improvised too. There was nothing for us to get worked up about. We were the sort of couple you could find lying around anywhere, after all. <sighs> Rhea let out an unusually exhausted sigh. Good work out there, Maria. I said quietly so that nobody else around would hear. Rhea giggled and... I wonder if in the previous routes, because obviously she's performed multiple times, you know, they did. She's done a duet with Sylvie once or twice besides this time. The point is, she has performed several times at the Christmas event thing at Sylvie's place multiple times. And she seemed completely fine. I wonder if she went through this as well or she was just totally okay and maybe just in this particular group they decided that you know she's gonna get super exhausted and uh dying slowly but surely i mean we all are if you think about it at some point when you're not developing anymore you just start dying isn't that way i look at it yeah it's very depressing i know i'm sorry i see i could recall maria bishop performing at much larger events like for end of your specials or UK TV shows. However, according to Rhea, today's performance had been her biggest one yet. Was it because of those high notes in the end? Mm, she didn't elaborate any further. Despite being friends, she felt pressure to not mess up. That seriously didn't make much sense to me. Hmm? I just joined you. I couldn't actually do anything to help. For that matter, I was a musical amateur. Yeah, that doesn't sit right with me. I am your boyfriend. I just stuck with you because I wanted to be with you. Is that really something to thank me for? <laughs> it was then that, for some reason, Rhea shot me a bright smile. So, <laughs> Rio? I hadn't noticed since we were talking. Rio felt oddly heavy there in my arms. She was placing her full body weight on me. She slid downward, and like so, Rio's body went limp as though she were asleep. I caught her in midair as Rio slumped like a marionette in my arms. Hey, Rio. I called out to her, but Rio didn't respond. Rio. She had collapsed in my arms. She was sound asleep, even as she was carried away on an ambulance. Her expression remained peaceful all the way to the emergency room. Oh boy. You know guys, an episode or two ago when I said, you know what, I'm going to say it at the end, I'm not going to forget this, there's no way I'm going to forget this. Rio regained consciousness three days later. Oh my god. However, she hadn't fully awoken from her slumber. She had abruptly opened her eyes, reacted when spoken to. Then promptly fell in asleep. I was so on edge that I asked the doctors about her condition multiple times, but the only explanation they would give was that she was in an extremely unpredictable state. <laughs> I 
何年も前から前に教えたでしょ。ジョサキ's explanation was easier to follow. Call it a stroke of luck, but I really was blessed with an impersonal connection. ジョインに話はつけましたので、この個室からあまり出ないようにしていただければ、お見舞いの時間外でもいていただいて結構です。He made arrangements for me so it would work out no matter when Rio might wake up. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love Kikuchi. o I just caught this, but in this route, it's been more serious interactions with this dude. If you guys think about it, like in the previous routes, they were always talking about girls, baths, porn. Based on Kikuchio's expression, these didn't appear to have been particularly exceptional arrangements for him to make. Yeah, they probably weren't. For a hospital to allow a patient's relatives to be present on a 24 hour basis, or rather, to be unable to deny them access. The most likely reason would be for the patient to be in a condition where they could pass at any time. Oh. Wait. I need to reread that. Oh, I got it. Hi, Sylvia. Sylvia? Oh, she's there. Yeah. We didn't believe it. <laughs> Not one bit. Her condition was highly unpredictable, the very same state Rio had been in for the last decade. This would all end without any major fanfare once again. Aww. Was that a prayer? I wasn't sure. But. <laughs> Rhea. Yeah. Vitality was seriously the one thing Rhea had in spades. She came out of her state of clouded consciousness by the next day and was able to respond to us again. Jogosaki, Sylvia, and I had been watching over her and napping in shifts, so I called out to them. That's just how worried we were. Sylvia's presence guaranteed Alison would be with her too. Things had gotten kind of chaotic in this private room. Thank you. Out of here. <laughs> <laughs> They left us alone. How do you feel? Three, maybe four days? Today's the 28th. Oh, so not. クリスマス飛んじまったのか25日デートプラン考えてた、ね、last thing should be tripping about <laughs> to tell the truth I had made reservations at a fairly extravagant hotel too but hey enough about that we had woken up and that was more than enough for me <laughs> なんかちょっと照れるな no what is いやこれまでも何回かこういうのあったんだけどさ起きた時まず見たのが男の顔って初めてでお風呂入ってないの気になる It's okay あ、ah. <laughs> Want me to wipe you down? ヘッチ All this buddy stuff aside She did appear interested in sexual stuff Rhea was squinting longingly at me Dude, she's dying Leave her alone, I gave her a kiss <laughs> This first touch of Rhea's lips And days was a bit dry, and I could sense how poor her circulation was through it. You could feel that? What? But it was fine. They were warm. She was still alive. Yeah, maybe. All of that excessive practice she'd put in leading up to the performance had taken a toll on her health, and she's collapsed once she was relieved of that tension. I heard you were told not to take that blood pressure medicine. Why would they tell her not to take it? 
Unbelievable. I poked her cheek. Apparently the medication she'd been taking wasn't to help her rest, but to keep pushing herself even harder. That's why, okay. I should have stopped it the second she started taking it. I was a moron. Idiot. I shouldn't praise her for this. I kept my impressions to myself. She had been so cool, but I wouldn't tell her that. I guess, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. I guess she couldn't take it anymore. Sylvia and the rest came back just a few minutes later. She shared a few words with a slightly misty eyed Sylvia and Jogasaki. Misty eyed? And in less than a span of five minutes, Ryo fell back asleep. Her condition was unstable and we had no idea how she was doing. But I was relieved to see the peaceful look on her face as she slept. That status quo of Rios continued to hold. She would wake up a couple of times per day, chat for a while, then fall asleep. After several hours of rest, she would suddenly awaken again. The one silver lining was that the ratio was improving. What started as less than 5 minutes awake slowly increased by several minutes at a time. With the time she spent asleep gradually decreasing little by little. Not even the doctors were sure whether that was good for her health. But it was wonderful that she was able to speak. From now on? Why? How about me? <laughs> what about me? Darn! <laughs> Why? I'm your boyfriend. That's so mean. <laughs> I appreciate that tension breaker. ああ、中身飲んでいいぞ。あ、飲みたきゃどうぞ。くそまずいけど。Wait、what I can't give you any, otherwise it'll upset your doctors, Ria. Anyway, thanks for coming by to check on her. Kikuchio, here, your share. Oh, thank you so much. Kikuchio, I don't know how to do it yet. Hmm? Uh, good morning. It's not a You know what, having them around... Even the, the the goofy ones like Reyna really does help out here at a time of sad. <笑>お前まで来たのか。お姉様が気を揉んでらっしゃるので来られない時間はせめてと思いまして。あら？なんですのそれ？ラムネだそうです。いります。ああ、それはもう結構ですわ。ね、ははは。<笑> It lines the mood a little. I appreciate that. The time she could talk, the time she was awake, was gradually growing longer. 
She was trending in a positive direction, in my opinion. Sure. Yep, yep. I kissed her. Even the texture of her lips was nearing its prior plushness. She was most certainly improving. Oh, I'm not going to believe that for one second. However, she was awake for only a mere 15 minutes. Despite the steady time increases, the difference was minor. I didn't want to think about it. I was trying not to think about it, but I was anxious. These moments when she fell asleep worried me the most. It just might not be next time. A uh, next time. She might not ever wake up again. It was okay. It would be alright. This was something she had overcome time and time again. That was what I kept telling myself. But I still couldn't seem to shake the severe apprehension. What's wrong? I bet. Bear with it. You're just waking up then nodding back off, right? Ryo scratched the back of her head. Maybe she was feeling stuffy? You've got a TV, don't you? Her comment was a disgrace to celebrities. The 30th, Saturday. Procure. I'd love to wake you up if I'm up, but tomorrow's New Year's Eve, so I doubt anime will be on. If that's what you want to watch, want me to go rent a DVD? You could watch it on my laptop. Why wouldn't I be able to? That would be awkward. Should I ask Reno to do it? Our conversation was utterly inconsequential. At this point, it was expected she would be awake already. And it was a relief we could have these foolish conversations so casually. Going to catch some sleep? I covered Ria the blanket up to her neck. Okay, on it. And of course, gave her a good night kiss. <laughs> Watch out for the hole. Sure. <laughs> I stroked her face and head and made sure to cover her eyes. Rhea began snoozing peacefully within a matter of seconds. And I kept on petting her for around half an hour. Wow, the commitment. My hand would be tired. Very quickly. I hadn't said it, but... Water break. Hmm, he said. Rio showed signs of walking again. Waking. Unfortunately, not walking. So I made a quick trip to the bathroom. When I got back moments later... Jogosaki had arrived. I watched over them from behind the parishion screen without speaking out to them. Within the next six months. Wow. My chest feels so heavy. I don't know what's about to happen. I hope that spoiler is like a joke, like a massive joke. I really, really hope so. Because <laughs> it has me like, oh my god. Sorry, Jogosaki. <laughs> 
実際。I really hope you're kidding, and even then, that's a, that's a bad joke right now. Sucky hung her head. I shouldn't watch Jogosaki cry and quickly turn away. Ryo took notice of what was happening and looked at me, so I signaled to her that I would step out for a minute with my eyes. Ryo nodded in response. On my way out of the room, I caught a glimpse of Ryo reaching out to Jogosaki to wipe the tears from her face. As long as I had the opportunity, I may as well go get a change of clothes. Decided to head back to the dome briefly. Most of the boarders had already gone home to visit their families already, so the dorm was deathly silent. I was lonely and headed to a place in hopes of finding other people. Unfortunately, most of the clubs had already been dismissed for the year, and there were no signs of anyone else on campus. But, hmm. I did notice one thing there in the Serenity. Yeah? So we esteem. The timber, 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 I had recognized enticed me toward the music hall. Huh? <clears throat> what are you doing here, silly goose? Hola. Sylvie lifted her head, her fingers poised over the ivory keys. I noticed the sound of the piano and came here. And I waited for a break in the melody to make my presence known. You were here? Kuro <laughs> sat idly in the corner of the hall was plugged into the nearby outlet. It looked like Kuro was in the middle of charging. I recall Sylvie mentioning that this was the only place available on campus to do so. My fingers ran along the keyboard. Oh, right. I don't think I ever got a chance to tell you. Good job on Christmas, Zoe. Your performance was spectacular. Hmm. <laughs> Her promise, huh? Wasn't this where you made the promise? To perform together when you grew up? It wasn't as if I'd heard it myself, to be accurate, but I could imagine given what Rhea had told me before. You made a promise in what in that exact spot ten years prior, a place where Sylvie had learned to play the piano so she and Rhea could someday perform together. <laughs> Sylvie replied aloud, almost as if she was trying to converse herself, if that were the case. And that likely meant she was considering the exact opposite. Really? You really won't regret a thing? Ah, crap. I realized I'd made a mistake the moment I said it. Slipped out because it felt like it would help dislodge the thorn that had been stuck inside of me ever since Christmas. However, it only agitated the thorn stuck in Sylvie. 
I shouldn't have said it. What do you think I should have done? It never should have been said, but there was no stopping now. I... I... Did I make the right choice? Should I have stopped Rhea even if I had a forcer? If I had been firm with her, she may have quit seeing it practice somewhere along the way and maybe she wouldn't be in this situation. Do you think I made a mistake? Because I didn't do anything. Because I just stood by and watched her. I... I couldn't stop. What I was saying was pure torture for Sylvie. For Sylvie, who impelled Rio to practice. Even so, I couldn't stop myself. The dam holding back the torrent of lament inside of me had burst. I was so pathetic. I made Rio a promise. I swore to her when I became her boyfriend that I would be the coolest boyfriend in the whole world. But... But did I actually succeed? I listened to whatever Rhea had to say, but that's it. Was that enough to be cool in her eyes? I'm an idiot. Just plain lame. So I couldn't stop her. Isn't it my fault Rio's health had declined so much? I'm a failure as a boyfriend, Cap. I disagree. Everything in view was getting wobbly and askew. Ah, what the heck was I doing? What good would it do to say all of this now? This was time where I needed to be strong. Just how pitiful could I get? So he showed me so much kindness and it was more than what I could have asked for. She softly stroked my cheek and wiped away my tears. Was she right? I knew this was how Rhea had wanted it. Of that much I was sure. But was she sure I wasn't wrong of me? Huh? Recently. That was what she meant. あの時のオーロラは文句なしでかっこよかった。世間一般はなんて言うかわからないわ。お姫様を連れて去ってにげて、その結果100人の騎士たちを敵に回して。Think <laughs> back on it now. That was lame and kind of tragic of me. でも私にとっては絶対にかっこよかったの。そうね。ねえ、オロ。かっこいいってどういうこと人からかっこよく見られるってこと違うわ。自分がかっこよくいることよ。私とソウマ君にだけは分かってることだから。だからソウマ君にとってはそれを応援してくれた彼氏は絶対に素敵だったわ。世界中の誰よりかっこいい彼氏だったわ。Zoe, I love her so much. After her strongly worded speech, once she wiped my tears away, I eventually noticed that tears were forming in the corners of Zoe's eyes as well. 私も後悔してないわ。私はソウマ君に出会えてよかったし、出会えたことに感謝してる。約束したことにも、それを果たせたことにも、後悔なんてしない。The way she phrased that definitely sounded like she was trying to convince herself. If I was actually as cool as she said I was, then this would be the ideal time for me to say something and cheer her up. But it took all I had to maintain the facade in front of Rhea. I wasn't able to pretend to be cool here with Sylvie. And that was when my phone rang. I felt like ignoring it for a second, but this ringtone was different from the others. It was a ringtone out of Sanderia, so I'd answered it immediately. Hello? Rhea? The call may have come from Rhea's phone, but it wasn't her voice on the other end of the line.
We bolted from the room and raced to the hospital. <gasps> no time for jokes. <laughs> Ria. Ria, can you hear me? Ria! Not only was she not conscious, Ria was just barely managing to breathe through what were essentially labored bouts. The meters that monitored her respiration and pulse were fluctuating like crazy. I wasn't sure of how to read them, but I knew she wasn't in good shape. I've never heard this soundtrack before. Just wanted to throw that out there. The medical staff spent quite a bit of time and energy clapping their hands, calling out to her and otherwise. Not responding. Chogosaki and Sylvie couldn't take it. All they could do was cry their eyes out in disbelief as they watched everything unfold. Rhea. My heart felt like it was going to shatter in a million pieces. Even if I broke down now, there would be no point. If this was the end, I at least wanted a, I wanted my voice to reach her. Rhea. She finally stabilized early the next morning. Rhea had regained the ability to breathe on her own and was doing so peacefully in her sleep once more. <sighs> What'd he do? These two eventually calmed down as well. Yeah. What time is it? Already the next day, huh? Oh. Today's January 1st? That's one terrible way to ring in the new year. <laughs> It's not a happy one. Happy New Year. <laughs> Sylvia must have been exhausted as she spoke a bit more eloquently than normal and she placed a brief kiss on Ryo's forehead. Sure. We all may have calmed down, but her condition was still largely unstable. None of us wanted to head home, and we spent the remainder of the night by her bedside. By her bedside. We had to at least until Rio woke up. Oh my god. I, I cannot believe this. <sighs> You know what sucks too? I think an episode or two ago, I had made a joke about how all the other roots had a happy ending. And imagine if they made us fall head over heels for Rhea and then they just decided to make this root the bad one where they killed her off or something. <sighs> I take that back. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Chogasaki must have worn herself out crying. She's beginning to nod off just a bit. You can sleep on that sofa if you want. I'll wake you up if anything happens. It was like her not to show any weakness, though. Uh. Rhea regained consciousness around 5 o'clock that morning. Neither Sylvie nor Jogosaki took advantage of the sofa, but they had both fallen asleep leaning on their chairs. I considered waking them, but I turned my attention back to Rhea instead. Rhea? Uh, uh, yeah. Her voice was unexpectedly steady. But, huh? Her eyes weren't focused on me. Oh. Rhea, don't tell me. At all? Jesus Christ. I took her hand and brought it to my face. She touched me here and there, then finally appeared to piece together where I was and smiled in my direction. <sighs> the hospital room you're in is 
dark right now. That's all it is. She had always had a tough time seeing in dimly lit places. However, Rio would have been able to at least make out contours in a hospital room fully equipped with night lights just a short time ago. At present, she couldn't tell I was seated right in front of her. I can't even believe Rhea's mom isn't even here too. That's actually crazy. Poor Rhea. Had her condition really deteriorated that quickly? There was no telling. Huh? She rustled underneath her pajamas and pulled out several cords. The minutes cried out in protest, not that they no longer could detect her heartbeat. Well, what'd you do? Rio covered her ears. Rio? The sound? She had told me before that she hated the unnatural tones hospital monitors made due to their perfect pitch. Oh. Although she had put up with them all this time regardless. Her sense of hearing had likely gotten sharper now that her vision had weakened. So much so that she couldn't endure it anymore. Um, got it. Sorry to her doctors, but this was an emergency. I quickly unplugged the device from the wall and the noise disappeared. <laughs> What's wrong? Ria, stop the noise. <laughs> oh. Ria was covering her ears, squirming in agony. I put my ear against the neighboring wall. Though it was faint, there was a beep coming from the next room over. What the hell? Is this actually real? If so, that's insane. I had no idea. There were monitors in the rooms on either side of us, and worse yet, they were against the walls for stationing reasons. I'd imagine Rio's incredible hearing could make out those subtle sounds. But what should I do? I obviously couldn't stop them from coming from the neighboring room. <laughs> the noises in the hospital were too much for her. And there's... And how are they still asleep? That's the question. She's over here like screaming in agony. They have they are heavy sleepers, oh my god. Well then. I held Rhea in my arms. She was light. I could easily hold her in my arms like a princess. Grab onto the sheet. Don't drop it. It's freezing out. I opened the door. The equipment being unplugged likely had something to do with it, and we unfortunately ran into several staff members on our way out the door. Dang, what should I do? Or so I wondered. Oh, you guys are up? Thanks. Sylvia and Jogosaku cleared a path for us, so I burst through. You obviously weren't going to give us permission. The dog just chased us, but I left them to Sylvia and Jogasaki. I prioritized Ryo's wishes. Which were... <sighs> yeah, you're not cold? The lake, near the lake, sure. Might be freezing, but might be quieter. I ran through town with a sheet covered Rhea in my arms. How badly we stood out was also an issue, but worse was the cold. I needed to find somewhere quiet and in a hurry. Somewhere did come to mind. The lake? Oh, I guess there too. You're fine. You don't need to worry so much. I'm fine. This is our secret, okay? You're lighter than Sylvie. <laughs> Spare me, please. I considered the dorm, but there were probably still people around, so... Ah. I went this route instead.
Yeah, can you tell? Can you see? That's an awfully impressive noise you're able to differentiate by. <laughs> Ryo giggled. The noise of silence. I wasn't sure if it was a joke or not, but it was a fact she was able to identify where we were. Huh? She smiled happily. Once we escaped the hospital and made our way into here, her expression quickly softened. I was glad she seemed to be in less serious of a condition, but seemed. Where what began? Huh? Wait, what? Oh. Uh, really? I'd never heard of that particular sequence of events before. The reason she couldn't distinguish colors wasn't because she had lost the ability to the tumors. She just never got to learn colors because she had been blind at birth. から真っ暗だった。急に光が世界ってものが目に飛び込んできた時は色が認識できなくてでも俺にとっては特に困ることじゃなかった世界がどんな色してるかなんて興味なかった世界より闇の中の方がずっと安心だったリア位置に会うまでは she gently popped her head onto my shoulder. Sekai tenoga nanoka, Yokua Karanaka Takito. Itchiniate Nanika omitted the Tanasa Shita. Shirubi niate Kinro te yukire na monoga arukoto shita. I see. Ria stood up. She fumbled around to find a piano, then gently pressed down on one of the keys. でも俺に音を教えてくれた。音を感じることを教えてくれた。他の人よりずっと強く感じられることを。あれで始まったんだ。俺の人生が。Her eyes narrowed as she reminisced. Were those eyes that couldn't perceive light seeing the old days? やっと分かった。あの頃すぐに死ぬはずだった俺がどうして10年も生きられたのか。はあ。アリアのおかげだ。Thanks to Please don't say stuff like that. She made it sound like this was the end. Maria Bishop may have vanished on that day, but Ria was still right here. みんなよ、イチ。今日まですごく楽しかった。世界は全部が金色だった。ゴールデンタイムは世界が黄昏るまでの一瞬だから。
俺の金色の時間はこんなにも綺麗にくれたから<音声>もう満足だよもう満足して遊ばれていけるまたあの心地いい闇へ帰っていける無や抱っこしてイチあとは感じられる間イチとくっついていたいリアスマウドンハウダーハウダーハウダーハウダーハウダーハウダーハウダーハウダーハウダーハウダーハウダーハウダーハウダーハウダーハウダーハウダーハウダーハウダーハウダーハウダーハウダーハウダーハウダーハウダーハウダー Knock it off already. Don't say things like, I'll fade into the dusk. Don't just walk away satisfied. Want more and more. Tell me you want to be even more golden. The way Rhea scowled and nearly broke my heart. Our conflicting emotions must have upset her. Still, I had zero intention of agreeing with it. I agree with Oda. I had unshakable confidence that I was in the right. After all, Don't you want the coolest boyfriend in the world? Then don't be satisfied yet. Wait until I'm the coolest boyfriend in the whole wide world. I continued to hold her tightly, snugly in my arms. Rear's body was still warm. Her heart was still beating. She was still alive. Rhea, listen. Before I came to this academy, I made a mistake. Do you remember how I used to play baseball? I was already playing it by the time we met as kids. We and the team, if I were to put it simply, we basically fought and went our separate ways. I never told this to anyone before. The only one at Noble Academy who should know was a l i s o n t r i e d to show off her. Chicken nuggets sake, but it was a total disaster and I didn't accomplish anything I'd wanted to do. But when I ran away, I met Sylvie. Came to this academy and ran into you. You know how the story goes from there. I spent all this time running away from Chicken and Torio. Yeah, I managed to make up with her and Torio just recently. I got them to help me look for Rio when she was taken into the hospital, and the rest. Stemmed from there. I was truly terrified up until that point, though. I made a mistake that day. I was afraid of acting cool. All the while, I started to test anyone else who, excuse me, who even tried to show off. To be honest, I didn't have the best impression of you when we first met. I thought, man, what's she showing off for with that big head of flashy blonde hair? タバコ吸ってる女を見たんだから正しい感想だよ。I didn't understand what I had meant to act like the coolest person you could be. I was insecure, but I was also wrong. Showing off is important, isn't it? It means you're trying to be your best self, all for the sake of becoming golden. So please, don't talk about fading away. Be there to see me become an even cooler person. I can't do it without you. Rio looked up at me with tears in her eyes. Oh, I see. I guess telling her to see me was inappropriate. <laughs> Rio's vision was. was. Hmm? What's wrong? Yeah. Huh? I turned around behind me. Light was pouring in from outside the window. She could see this? Did that mean right now the time was. Ah, Rhea, we're going outside. Eh? The sheet kept getting in the way, so I replaced it with my jacket. But wait, maybe it wouldn't work at this elevation? 
Dang it, the roof being locked off was incredibly unfortunate. There had to be some way, any way at all to get onto the roof. <laughs> no way with the kid on. Huh? Still there? <laughs> oh, Sylvie left you behind? Kiro, come here. No way. <laughs> You're gonna use that little fire up there? I led Rio by the hand. It was already relatively bright in the eastern sky. We might miss the best moment. I'll ask Sylvie to handle it later somehow. Let's go. We headed inside. Rio was slow on her feet, so I pulled her into my arms and carried her like a princess again. Hurry. If you talk, you'll bite your tongue. I raced up the stairs to the top floor in a single spurt, and then all the way to the floor above that. The door to the roof was still encased in an assortment of chains and locks. I'd already broken a window, so I would just need to rely on Sylvie's princess powers for this later, too. Kiro, counting on you. Does he blow it up? She blow it up? <laughs> That was a princess exclusive bodyguard for you. It chopped through the layers of chains with ease. Genius. Once the doors was open, once the door was open, a wave of frigid air blew out and crushed her cheeks. Very when at this academy, it was a sensation only Rhea and I had experienced. And they're on the rooftop for the first time in ages. Yo. That's so cool. We made it in time. This lake was the polar opposite of the one we normally saw. Gold arose from the east. And luckily enough, today was January 1st. Can you see, Rhea? <laughs> Rhea squinted. She could see. Her vision. It had gotten even weaker, but it wasn't gone completely. Rhea hadn't yet given up on this golden world. <laughs> what a lucky break. This is the first sunrise of the year. It's New Year's Day. <laughs> Although she lost track of time, this newfound knowledge caused Rio to grin from year to year. It was sheer luck that it happened to be the first sunrise of the year. But the thing that was important was... You always sleep in the morning, so isn't this your first time ever seeing a sunrise? <laughs> what? That's crazy. Bullseye. She was looking away from me. Her eyes darted back and forth between me and the morning sun. I wasn't sure how much she could see, but she could see. Are you familiar with the saying, the sun will rise again? Or maybe you've heard, every night comes to an end? So, so Remember this, then. After that golden moment, pitch black darkness will definitely come. But afterwards, the golden time will come again. Uh. I like that. So Rio was like, oh, golden time, and then it ends with dark. But Odo was like, yeah, it gets golden, yeah, it gets dark, but it gets golden again. The morning sun illuminated us in its utterly dazzling radiance. It shared its golden color with the sunset, but without its same wistfulness. What in it late our golden time? Don't talk about fading into the dusk anymore. No matter how many times the sun sets, a golden time comes again. And our time is absolutely always golden. What is going on? What is going on?
have questions. What? This goes hard. This is going on music. With all these names, so look, I didn't catch what that list was. Whoops. Please tell me there's a little bit more after this. Please. You can't just leave it like that. I need to know. I'm so confused right now. The world always faded away into the beautiful twilight. え、1月1日から病院に呼び出されて何事かと思ったら僕が特例で見てもらっていた患者が医師らの精神を振り切って逃げ出したとかごめんなさいすいません。さあ、戦士たわ。ハバッ、ハバッ。もう困りますよ。
飯ってのは味も大事だけどなんか高級そうな空気が一番なんだよ I do get how you feel But I'd love to get my hands on some of that fried onigiri you keep talking about instead まかせろっつっとけ買い出し行くぞイチ添え物のたくあんがポイントなんだ You get excited over the strangest things My The timer went off again. This is gonna be a really long episode. Oh my god. <sighs> the teacher told me I'm not going to make it in the next school year if something doesn't change. Dang it, I'm just barely passing my classes. Noble Academy really is strict. よっぽどのことじゃ留年や退学渡さないけどよっぽどとなったら意地でも進級させないでしょうね Dang it Why are they not showing their figures? I need to see them <laughs> March 5th Man, you managed to pass all your classes, huh? 2月にアメリカの何とか賞っての受賞したからな I'm jealous. Okay. Middle school. Oh. 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 Wow, so Jagasaki had spiral classes, glasses in elementary school? That's crazy. It's a little hard to imagine. <laughs> Why not? I had a friend with spiral glasses too. It was before elementary school though. That really takes me back. Ichan, the bookworm, ever since kindergarten, all she ever did was study. She cried all the time when Takato came up behind her and finger gunned her butt. <laughs> Tried to defend her though. I wonder how she's doing. Huh? Oh, they finally, finally! Bro. <laughs> yep, that was her. Oh, and that's the that's the Ichi that she does respect, but she doesn't know that it's him. Okay, I managed to move up a grade somehow. Cheating with an Apple Watch. Jogosaki offered to help me. Oh, well, now she started giving him the good treatment, finally. Hey, morning. Hey. からそういう wicked side peeks out time to time, doesn't it? ねえ、困ったものです。April 10th。Ah, they force third years to take compulsory exam prep classes if you don't sign up for an expert planning class? That's harsh. サボりが効くのは2年までだったな。I, I must say, I'm surprised by how long this is going. I wonder why. Like the other ones were far more shorter, weren't they? I'm not complaining, by the way. Let me remind you. Which reminds me, what did you do? Wait, what? Did you expert you did was sleep. The teachers are too naive. I don't want to study. Maybe I should join one of the sport club or something. Baseball. I'm over 
野球関連は全部シャットアウトしたな。まだ微妙に未練があったか。Not with baseball, no. His success kind of turned me off the whole thing. What sport could I go with? Senpai! Track? Oh, Akane chan. Ako. That's Akane chan. I'd imagine you've seen her around the dorm, right? Akane te. Ano chin chukuri na gaki? Betsin da ro. Nanka slatto ste mune mo ii kanji de chosez bijin da zo. It's not uncommon for young women to go through sudden growth spurts. Oh, she changed? Really? What the? More? I know. The track and field clubs won't require any special skills. Dame da. Huh? Oh, she's jelly jelly. Uh, okay. <laughs> July 11. I want to avoid being crushed by her exams. Kikuchi was talking about going to his villa in Nagano, wasn't he? It's a study camp. He's going to those nice, cool mountains devoid of any worldly thoughts for a hardcore study session. Same. さんねせんになったというのに遊びの話ばっかりこんな神にゃんはどうするのカミミャン仕事仕事仕事ですはあ昨年はお姉様の方が比重が大きかったですが今年になってその大変さがわかりますわうんあれでも種類も夏は忙
まさかソルティレージュの誇る学者賢人が付きっきり体制で勉強を教えてくれるとはね。At least they won't fail. We definitely did sacrifice our summer breaks for raised IQs. <laughs> Sorry. Whoops. October 11th. Huh. Jump. That's a jump. Yeah, it's already autumn. <laughs> yeah, it's already autumn. Yeah, Sorlage was nice and cool, huh? So, so, Ichimatsu, no? Kikan Kosa no Sese Kinga, and Gata so de. I'm grateful to all the scholars. If I really think about it, your eyesight is so horrible that you're exempt from most tests anyway, huh? <laughs> Wait, how did she even study? I wonder how that worked. Rain, huh? You alright? Uh, here, come those drawbacks to the perfect pitch. I haven't seen those in a while. Hmm. Which do you want? That booby movie again? That's okay. The loot scenes with the second actress are kind of nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can see them? Hmm. That's incredible. You can see bitties. <laughs> Not yet. But the part where the heroine had disappeared and the protagonist is frantically searching for it. It's a climactic scene for the movie itself, though. Hmm? Of course I would. I'm sure you can't move around very well with how bad your eyesight is right now anyway. I could leave the bulk of the manhunt to Sylvie. Relying on Elisan would be the most reliable way. And then I would wait. There's no way you would ever leave me intentionally. I would leave the search in Elisan's hands and wait until you come home. There's only one place you belong, and that's in my arms, right? <laughs> We're still going, oh my gosh. I'm surprised. I don't know if I should make this all in one video. Contemplating. She's still not over her cold. ご心配なく急に寒くなったからね心配なのはむしろ付きっきりで看病しておられる城ヶ崎殿ですねまたあまり寝ていないようですしシーイシ。Don't make that face, Sylvie. She'll be alright. I know this is PTSD for everyone. As soon as she's a little bit of sick, everyone's like, ah, fuck. Don't blame him. You just got over your cold, so don't stay too long. We need to get you back somewhere warm soon. <laughs> Fine then, I guess. I see. Yeah. Don't tell me you want to stick around here until then, though. We have plenty of time and it's too cold. Hi. Oh. 
Whoa. Another one? <clears throat> we completed the set? I mean, we bought them together, so I don't think it's actually either of ours. You opened it, so that would make you the winner. Finally, like, I was wondering when this was gonna, like, who won and blah, blah, blah. The whole lot of silver overages are yours. <laughs> Dang it. Good point. いいんだよ。やった、銀のラブリッチ。とうとう揃った。こうやって正面に当てるとキラキラしてるのが見える。もう間に合ってよかった。Yeah. So, when are you going to trade the men? あ、どうしよう。もうちょっとこうして5枚並べてニヤニヤ見ていたい。やれやれ。子供なんですから。Yeah. Yeah. Finally. <sighs> it was hard work just making it this far, huh? Yeah. On top of the water tank? That's dangerous. Mm. What am I going to do with you? Oh, there we go. Thank you. It'll be bad for your eyes if you look straight at it. だね。でももうちょっとだけ。オッケー。もうこれ以外見えるものってあんまりないから。綺麗だね。いや。世界ってすごく綺麗だね。金色で すごく綺麗。ねえ、いち。いや。今ね。もう見えてるものはほとんどが真っ暗で。あ。でもそれで分かったんだ。世界はどの時間もどの瞬間も金色だったって。思い出す時間の全てが輝いてる。I see. Nope. Is the world really such a wonderful place? いいもんだよ。10年前も1年前も全部の時間がキラキラしてる。忘れないで。1。今は気づかなくても、いつか思い出した時、今は絶対輝いてる。友達といた時間、家族といた時間。世界って。いつも金色だよ。リア。こんな当たり前のことが知れてよかった。ありがとう、愛知。金色教えてくれて。もう大丈夫。真っ暗な中に戻っても。世界に金色じゃない時なんてない。Oh, nice. Golden time, da kara.
Rio's funeral. I was sure there would be another gorgeous sunset tonight. Her funeral was held on such a perfectly clear day after all. I wonder what the funeral was like. I was so deflated that I didn't stick in my mind very well. All I could hear were Jogasaki's pain sobs. And also... Her mom! You're welcome. An older woman who resembled Rhea... Oh my god. <laughs> Gently bowed her head at me. This was the first time I had ever met her mother. But she did. At least attend her funeral. Would you take this? A toy tin. She went this with five silver emblems, but she never got around to sending the postcard in, so before it arrived, that's how it all turned out. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Not holding those in. <laughs> oh boy. Was not expecting that. <laughs> I decided to head back after greeting Rio's mother. I was worn out. It was already getting dark out. Ora. Hey. Otsukaresama deshita. I should be the one saying that to you. Thank you, Ellen, for taking care of the formalities, preparations, and so much else. I'm sure it must have been tough. Nie. Oki ni nasarazu. Had to change the <laughs> the battery on the camera because it died. And we've been recording for a while. It's going to be the longest video I've ever made. <laughs> don't tell me that. I managed to hold it in all somehow, so don't call me now. <laughs> all of the tears that were supposed to have dried up before the ceremony came pouring back out and froze yet again. Hi. Did I do everything right? Do you think I was at least able to keep up the cool act in front of Rhea? Was I able to shine for her? You don't think she was disappointed? Oh, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> was I able to be the coolest <laughs> boyfriend in the whole world? <laughs> it in until the end when I said my final goodbyes, but it was no use. Out they came, one after the next. Raina softly put her hand on my head and Nelson rode my back. <sighs> I see. With that, out came another wave of tears. <sighs> I was so lame. Well, part of this was the world's coolest boyfriend. I was so pathetic. Had I kept Rio from realizing it? Just how lame I was deep down inside? Had I been successful in my attempts at being the world's coolest boyfriend when we were together? Had I managed the cool for her? <laughs> I wanted to avoid being seen by my underclassmen at the dorm, so I made a beeline for the empty school building after I said goodbye to both Reina and Elson. Where should I go? I didn't really give it much thought, but... <coughs> seems like the most appropriate place. My feet naturally led me here. Oh. Headed to the top of the water tank. Hmm. This is where you were. ちょっと前にソーマくんからここを聞いてね。オーラと二人の時を邪魔しないって約束で来てもいいって。今日ならさすがに許してくれるでしょ。いや、I'm <laughs> sure. Thanks, she's so pretty. 
I ended up watching the sunset with an unusual partner. Talk about a strange coincidence. It was surprising to say the least. Right? <laughs> you really did. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah. Thank you for your hair. So we had lopped off her extremely long hair, but she made it sound like it was nothing. The side of her definitely hadn't changed from 11 years ago. This is going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> Our conversation was uncharacteristically brief. There was no particular need for us to speak. I was positive that we had roughly the same thought in mind. What's that? <laughs> what? Our thoughts weren't the same. That came out of left field. It reminded me of Ria, in a sense. What? So she's like, the default route anyways. Not that I was against it, because I always loved Sylvia. But when you put Ria like in that position, it's like... Th and that's actually what I was thinking too in my head. Like, Ria was going to pass away, unfortunately. But then they're best friends. They're childhood friends. And it would make sense. It would make sense. Dude. That sounds like something real would say. Wait, what promise? Did I forget something else? Yeah, so I was right. So I was right. I was right. She also liked him for a long time. Okay, cool. She rummaged around by her chest. Then she pulled out a golden pendant. The centerpiece was that ring. I thought I hadn't seen that lately. She gave it to her? <返されちゃったわ。私は遅すぎまでしてて欲しかったんだけど。笑> <laughs> Don't do that. Maria. I see. What? That isn't something a princess should say lightly. <laughs>そうね。分かってるわ。私もまだ気持ちの整理がついてないし、他の人が好きなお婿さんは困るもの。うん。でも約束は約束だから。Dang. She loyal, loyal. She slid the pendant over my head, her head, and the ring dangled freely against her chest. She looks really good with short hair, too. Now it makes sense why there's a second game. I'm assuming it's a continuation of this. Got it. Now that I think about it, I think a long time ago when I first started, I'm sorry, but I need to say this now or I'm going to forget. A long time ago when I first saw this game, I was like, oh, cool, all these characters, and I saw Rhea. And I think in Golden Time, I remember seeing Rhea not there. And now after this, I'm going to look at it again, and if that's true, I'm going to be pff, like, no wonder she wasn't there. That was ways off, which gave me more than enough time to think her proposal through. More importantly, what's a, what a coincidence that you brought a ring with you, too. I first threw my pocket and pulled out a ring on my own. <laughs> that little hot box with the ring inside of it, that is. To be honest, I originally considered doing what I was about to do with this ring as well. So we had a counterpart, then I would hang on to this one. She and Rhea had made them after all. 
I took the ring out of the box and pulled it in my pocket. And then... This is what we got from it. That works for you, right? <laughs> All that remained inside was the Golden Lover emblem. So we had one a year ago. And I clamped it shut. Then I aimed at the twi toilet. Toilet sky and threw it. Though the hold box drew a massive fireball in its wake as it fell toward the lake. Why? No, don't do that. That box inscribed with a golden time, with a golden color locked within, sunk into the lake. And then it disappeared into eternity. Bye bye. Yeah. I wouldn't forget it either. Not for as long as I lived. It was a brief moment, but that beautiful world quietly faded into the twilight. The time we were together would always exist within this space. The flicker in time where Rhea and I were on this roof. And the golden time we had undeniably shared. That's the end. That has to be the end. What? <laughs> oh, there. Got it. Oh, so we're going back again. Hang on a sec. It's open. <clears throat> Excuse the background noises. They first showed us this scene too in the first episode. This all makes sense now. It all wraps well. It circles back. <clears throat> back to where he found it. It's definitely gold. Wow. It's definitely gold. Finish Ria's route. I have no words. I have no words. The writing is incredible. And it really gets me to think. Why make all these other routes in this game? If I think the whole love triangle with Sylvia and Maria is like good enough. You know, because here we saw that Maria died. And clearly, it's kind of setting it up that Sylvia and Odo are going to end up together anyways. So, having all these extra other routes kind of wouldn't make sense. But for the purpose of, like, entertainment or for fun, I would see why they would throw those in as well. Not that I hated them or saying that they shouldn't have. But I'm just saying, like, if they just made it where he was going to fall in love with Rhea, Rhea passes away, and then he ends up with Sylvie. Like, that alone, I think that would have been good enough on its own you know but the fact that they set it up like this makes so much sense as to why there's another game and it only leads me to assume that there's going to be a continuation of sylvia's route and everybody else's route or maybe it'll just be more focused on sylvia i don't know but now i really want to know and now i'm contemplating about starting golden time right after or starting something else but i'm gonna leave it up to you guys i'm going to make a poll if you made it this way i can't thank you enough two hours is a lot of time and i was very very vulnerable today I was very vulnerable today. And uh, it's like how I talked to uh, the guy that the guy, to the guy that spoiled. I wish you were kidding. I really wish you were kidding. Let me get your name out here. I want to give you a shout out though. Like not because like I'm trying to flame you or anything. but <laughs> Or I want anybody to flame you because you spoiled something big or anything. But I just wanted to thank you anyways. You know, Because we had a good conversation about how if Rhea actually does pass away. Because he... I'll just explain it now since we saw what happened. So, this person in particular... Okay, my Wi-Fi is being a little goofy right now. I don't know what's going on. We were talking about how... He had accidentally said, like, Oh, it's a, it's a shame Rio passes away. It broke my heart. And I was like, no way. Like, please tell me you're joking. And he was like, no. I'm like, dude, I'm literally going to cry on video. And he was like, it's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. And I was like, no, I agree with you. It does not. I think it takes more balls to be able to cry and, and express than just hold it all in. You know what I mean? And uh, 
I did just that, and I don't regret it. <laughs> I don't regret it. It just shows how powerful the story was. The story was incredible. But shout out to Wolf Dog Ninja Senpai for three one two. Very long name, but shout out to you. It was a good conversation. I was like, nah, does not make you any less of a man. I hate to say it. No, I don't hate to say it, but I think I like this game. No, I don't think. I liked how this was written, and I liked this game overall more than Senran Banka. I know Senran Banka was, did extremely well, and it was extremely popular, and a lot of people loved it, but personally, I just I enjoyed King Koi a lot more, especially with Ryo's Root. I feel like Ryo's Root carried a whole lot of weight to that decision, you know? I feel like if it wasn't for Ryo's Root, I would be able to tell you Senran you know, definitely wins, but no. King Koi? King Koi won. I was hoping, I was really hoping, I was really hoping that it was a joke, but when it comes to the terminal illnesses, it's tough. It really has me thinking, like, as we all know, it's evident that we're all going to die, right? But it's just crazy to think that there's some people that have to worry about crap like that a lot sooner, you know, than what you would expect you know and it feels so unfair because i've known of people that have terminal illnesses uh one of i had an ex-girlfriend whose mother passed away due to cancer and uh it's it's a very really strong thing it's a really strong thing it feels almost like why should i have good health and these people not have good health why do i get this but not them what the heck it feels it's so unfair and it, it really is. The way I want to look at it, though, is that if you know someone like that, you don't know how much time you have. And just don't regret nothing. Keep moving forward. Live that life that they wished that they could have lived because they don't get to do that. You know, they don't have the same capacity as an average person. This is an easy, easy 10 visual novel. 10, ten room. Again, I really, really love Rhea. I really love Rain. I love all of them. I the top three, Reina, Rhea, and Sylvia. Easy, easily. I really like that one too. They're just they're so, they're all so good. But Rhea definitely had the best route. Definitely. Reina, one of my favorite characters because she's funny. <laughs> A whole lot of reasons. I could get onto that whole thing. To be honest, I, I can't even choose. With that being said, if you watched this entire thing, thank you so much. It means a lot. It really does mean a lot. You know, it's, it was a lot. It was, it was quite a bit. And, uh, I don't think I was the only one crying during this whole thing. <laughs> so, uh, we're in this together, guys. We're boys or gals or whoever. We're in this together. In this channel, I wanted to be a channel where we could all express without any joy. I want this to be a community where we could all express, you know, and be vulnerable and be unserious and everything, you know, everything without judgment. So, with that being said, once again, thank you so much if you made it this way. I'm I'm fighting back tears right now. <laughs> it's not the pretty sight. It's not the pretty sight. But it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. It means the world to me. Once again, I will leave a poll. If you guys want to see Golden Time right after this, awesome. If you want to see something else, something shorter maybe, and then Golden Time, I'm also down for that. I'm going to leave a poll. I would really, really love it if you made it this far. Please, 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 please go vote. And I would also love to hear your thoughts about this visual novel. This visual novel left the mark and uh i could see why this has a second game it'd be criminal it'd be very criminal not have a second game and i hope this game the second game is if not as good better than this one that's enough of me yapping once again thank you so much for watching i'm gonna wrap it up here thank you so much for being with me in this series this series was such a ride it was such a ride and uh this route just completely changed my view on Rio, man it's just I was not expecting all of this and i i hate the fact that i joked about this having a bad end it's a bad end in the sense where she you know she passes away that sucks but also it's not completely bad because it kind of opens it builds another foundation to start something else you know what i mean so depending on who you ask it could be bad it could be good but it's definitely not what i was expecting you know i thought i really thought that she was gonna make it out i wonder what made them want to end it this way or what what was the thought process for making this you know it's still genius written it was still very geniusly written don't get me wrong but i just wonder how how this all came about you know what i mean 
but I can't wait for the next game. I know it's gonna be great. I go on a whole tangent, but this this is my passion, you know. And the fact that I can share this with you guys is so great. It's awesome. It's really awesome. For all this time, I'm done yapping. Thank you so much. Thank you so so much. And if you did enjoy this video, subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So stay safe. And until next time, have some more crying to do.